can't preach it enough, guys. There's a difference between collecting and hoarding. Hoarding is when you got a big pile of stuff in the basement. It's all in boxes. You're buying stuff three times because you don't know what you got. Collecting, it's all nicely displayed like this. And you want nice cabinets as well. You don't want all your good stuff in like a junky old cabinet, like wood grain, you know, curb appeals, everything with this stuff. But collector's display. Beautiful though. What's going on guys? I had a whole different theme for this video and then I just went another way because we got something new to unbox. So I'll show you that in a minute. But first I want to show you guys our retro tree. It's finally coming together. I'm going to try to get our retro tree sorted up. There is one gift under there because Dave knew what it was because we wanted to make sure he liked what he was getting. But next year he's not going to know. But... The other gifts are not going under there till they're wrapped. I forgot we had this yodeling pickle hide it on the tree. What's what's the purpose of that again? Retro trees coming along. I'm going to have to arrange the lights a little bit better. I'm not a pro at this stuff, guys. Come on. But coming along. Okay, Snoop says uh, we're ready to go here. We're going to start putting the ornaments on. Okay, so we decided on a unique angel. This guy. These are hilarious. Diane got them for me. They're pretty cheap. I don't know why Michael Myers has a guitar, but just showing you guys, we got an all retro tree. You know, I have, actually, I lied to you guys. There's one ornament on here that is not retro themed, and you'll see why in a second. There's Marty Moose front and center. That's that's the Griswold house, right? That's not the Home Alone house. Yeah, it's got to be the Griswold house. There's the other arcade machine for Glenn, from Glenn that matches the other one. Now, all the ornaments are, of course, towards the front. I've got to space them out a bit better. Ah, there's my nieces there. That's why they're on the tree, because they gave me that ornament. There's the leg lamp, Grinch. But... And I, I am, we're still adding to it, but they got to be cool, eh? If they're not cool, they can't go on the tree. So, over here, we got Mr. Ali, we got Skeletor, we just got a mix, Betty Boop. Just showing you guys, we got the, uh, that one's kind of cool here. It looks like a VHS tape. But, Donkey Kong... Gizmo, the uh, family truckster with a tree on it. They didn't use the family truckster that in that movie with the tree. They used that Ford Taurus wagon, but there's Ralphie. There's your little Ralphie. But, yeah. Work in progress, guys. Forgot one, guys. Pennywise holding the guitar. I don't know why I forgot it or why he's holding a guitar. Here's a shot of it. Oh, my cell phone lights it up a bit, but I'm just going to get it in the dark for you guys. Oh, well. Even got a fireplace. Got stockings, but I don't know if we're going to do the stocking thing or not. So, yeah, we decided to say screw it, did a video. Uh, an unboxing, rather. So we got a good one today. It's actually a rare one. People seem to like the Mopars, the GMP stuff. I do myself. Let me tell you, this box weighs a ton, okay? It's a GMP, one of 2,250 made, okay? Now, I'm no expert on this stuff. I don't even know what color it is. Um, we're gonna have to see. I don't think it says on the box that I seen. No, it doesn't. Not that I see. Looney Tunes, that's cool that it's got, uh... oh, because of the Roadrunner on it. That's awesome. So yeah, we're gonna crack this open, see what it's about. And with the higher end stuff, 
as our friend Max showed us, or reminded me of actually, the gloves. I've got brand new boxes of gloves, and I even made sure to get them different colors than the gloves that I use at my work. That way, if people from my work watch the videos, they're not like, oh, Neil stealing gloves from work. But they know I would never steal from work anyway, but, you know, never know. So I got different colors. Huh. It's that season. It's getting chilly out there, guys. Ooh. It's uh, really blowy here in Hamilton. And um, it's December 17th, the day I've been 45 years old for a day now. That went, that went awesome yesterday, guys. I had kind of a relaxing day. I got to drive out to the reserve yesterday and get my... Uh, my weed deal that I get every two weeks. And while I'm out there, I gassed up. Gas was super cheap out there. I can't remember how much, but posted it to my Facebook. Anyway, it was 10 cents cheaper than my uh, cheap station in town here. And that was the white boy price. So um, basically it's a 40 minute drive from Hamilton to get out to the reserve. So for me to go for just gas, it's not worth it. Um, if you smoke, it's worth it to go to get gas and smokes. For me to get gas and weed, it's totally worth it because the deal I got out there, not only is the weed way more potent than the weed here, but it's so much cheaper, guys. Like, oof. And like I said, worth the drive every two weeks. And I like the backcountry roads and that. I am wor kind of worried about the winter, but I'm going to be going up there anyway. The Mazda, believe it or not, my little Mazda 3 with the uh, snow tires that it has on it. It's a little tank in the winter time. Being from Sault Ste. Marie, I know the importance of snow tires. There is a huge difference. A lot of people are like, oh, there's no difference. There's a big difference. I'll be at a red light in the winter time here in Hamilton. The light will turn green. I'll pull away, no problem. And people left and right are just spinning, trying to get traction. Beautiful box. Box is in beautiful shape. I'd like to know what year it was done in. Let's see here if I could see a year with the trademark stuff. I don't see a year, but I will try to get that by the end of the video for you guys. I will just pull the old Google Google and get the year. Not suitable for children 14 and under. Yeah, I could see giving kids these eh? expensive high-end die-cast cars and they're playing crash up derby with them out in the mud, four by fouring with them. Put the box aside. Now with GMP, they're high end and they package high end. If you notice, it's got the cake style box with the little uh, button on top that you gotta remove. And it's got tape around the edges holding it. Uh, your GMP stuff comes with paperwork and it's just to, uh... oh, it's just a survey actually. It's not even, usually they put stuff showing the next models that come out, but that's just a survey they put in. Um, even got a little inspection sticker showing that they've inspected it. It's not like, uh, it's not like a model that's got flaws and they just put it in there. Hopefully that means, well, unfortunately GMPs have that paint rash, right? Like that last video I showed you. So we're going to hope this doesn't have paint rash on it. Ertl has it down. So if this has paint rash on it, I should email them and say, get a hold of Ertl and get find out how they're doing it. But as you see, guys, they package it very, very well. Um, being very careful, but showing you guys what I'm seeing here. They even put extra of those little black bumpers on the styrofoam. And not many places use styrofoam anymore because of the environment, but styrofoam for stuff like this is excellent. Might not be good for the environment, but it's excellent for this. Now, I'm not going to pull this up by the roof, and there's a reason for that. You know what the reason is? 
it's the convertible. So I'm not gonna just grab it. That's why it's got those straps on it. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna be very careful removing this thing. We're gonna put this aside over here. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's a yellow one, good. Oh yeah, yellow is good. Yellow or blue or purple, I would have liked. But yeah, I like the yellow as well. That's what. That's the next one. I'd like it as a purple or the blue. If you guys remember, I had one of these, but it was well, not one of these. I had the uh, Daytona Superbird, a Superbird in yellow. It was beautiful. I think that was one done by Supercar Collectibles. This has the leaf spring. Oh, this is gorgeous, guys. So, of course, we're going to take the bands off so we could see the interior and all that. But this thing, let me tell you, it weighs a ton. Look at the license plate. Beep, beep. That exhaust looks realistic. It weighs a ton. It's got the rally wheels. It's got the Roadrunner badging at the front. This is one of those ones, if you put it outside, it, it looks like a real car. Mm -hmm. Some do, some don't. This does. If you got the right setting, that is for it. But we're going to take those straps off it. And we're going to have a closer look. And we're, of course, you know, we're going to get glamour shots. But first, actually, first thing we'll do is I'll show you guys underneath. And then I'll get rid of the straps. So... I can confirm the wheels do turn with the steering wheel and it has nice tight steering on there. But look at the detail we're dealing with here, guys. And I wonder if there is a number somewhere on this car. That might be it on the gas tank. Yeah. Ooh. Before I just blurt it out, I want to make sure I'm reading that. Yep. It's a decent number. See that on the gas tank? Number 723. So that's number 723 out of 2250 made. It's a decent number. Oh, one thing we didn't look at, I wanted to show you because we got to take the bands off to look at the interior and the meat of this thing, but, oh, oh, it's got special. You guys know how I love hood hinges. Wait till you see these hood hinges. Detailed to the max. And look at those hood hinges. They're not like the um, like the regular Ertl hood hinges. That's gorgeous. Really looking forward to looking at the interior of it. Holding it still, as still as I can. Um, looking for that. Oh yeah, it's got the purple, uh, it's got the Roadrunner horn even. See it? Uh, oh, it's actually on that side. So, see it? The purple. But that is detailed to the max. It's even got the hood latch that latches it shut. It's got the antenna. Okay, we got to get this thing, the uh, bands off of it. So, I'm going to go get a pair of snip snips. Be right back, guys. Sorry, guys. I moved, and apparently Glenn had the scissors already here. So. Gurgle. This thing, guys, weighs a ton. Being very, very, very gentle. There we go. One down. Because again, this is a convertible. Just going to try to get the second strap into position. There we go, guys. 
because we do not want anything metal or anything that could scratch that beautiful paint. Perfect. Got it. Okay. Yeah, that roof wants to pop off. Okay, so take the roof off. The roof's got a windshield in the back or a window in the back. Oh, guys. So it is cool. I'm not a big fan of convertibles in real life or die cast cars, to be honest, but this is cool because you get to see that view you don't normally get to see in a regular car. So having a look on the driver's side first. Okay. Give you guys even the doors detailed with the chrome inserts, everything. GMP with the high end. Even the mirrors are those old uh, Dodge Chrysler mirrors. Like same style that the General Lee had. Good look from the passenger side. Now just to show the um, the wheels do turn the steering wheel. Now what I found if the car is on all four wheels guys, it's not good to crank on the steering wheel to turn the wheels. It actually loosens it up. Just a tip. This has a really good turning radius on it actually. Um, but yeah, it's not good to have the car down cranking on the wheels. The doors actually snap shut nicely. Whew. Beautiful. Now, the back has some suspension to it. Those leaf springs do have a little bit of give, like it makes for like a little bit of a suspension look. The front doesn't. Oh, you know what we forgot to look at, guys? The trunk. And it's got a spare tire in it. Nicely detailed. Oh, let's yeah. have a look. <clears throat> so now we'll get some few glamour shots of her. Here's some glamour shots of it, guys. Now, I'm not a huge fan of convertibles, but I'm a huge fan of good craftsmanship. And this is good craftsmanship. Like, it looks like a real car, even the curves on the body, everything. We're going to get some glamour shots, of course, with the um, roof on it. Uh, I am a big fan of these uh, hood hinges. I'm always watching for little details like how doors open, hoods open and stuff. The hood hinges they used are winners for sure. They got um, their spring loaded if you could see by the one on the other side of the car. And they just seem to work really well. It's got a hood hatch up here or hood latch rather. That catches the one on the bottom. Just adds more to the realism and closes the hood good. Show you guys this in a little bit of a different light and angle, but they even put the trim on the bottom of the door jam. This is high quality stuff. The road runner on the side the old leaf spring suspension. Even the latches inside the door and the little door tag, eh? That's the attention to detail they do. This ain't no Jada. No offense to Jada. I love Jada stuff, but... Well, I love some Jada stuff. They're getting better too, Jada, actually. Myself, I like it better with the roof on. 
not much of a convertible guy, but I do like it better with the roof on. I'm not much for the color yellow too, but I will admit on the older Mopars like this, it looks good. Looked great on my Superbird Daytona that I had. So, and I like how they put the black stripe on the hood to kind of break it up. This is one you just got to remember, as much as you want to pick it up by the roof, don't. I know you're used to it, but don't pick it up by the roof because you'll drop it. They made one of these in blue as well. Would love to have the blue one. That's a beautiful one. This is beautiful too. Also very happy to report guys, no paint rash on this model. If you look at the last GMP model that I opened, it was that blue Mustang. I can't remember the name of it a few days ago. As expensive and high end as it was, it had the paint rash. This doesn't have that dreaded paint rash. It's just beautifully executed, well done, and a low number. One last look under the hood, just so you could truly appreciate it. You could see the horn in the corner closest to us, that little blue box, but fully wired, plumbed, and everything. Totally realistic. Even that little hood hatch, hood latch. You know what go good beside that? A little Roadrunner figure like what Jada did. In fact, Glenn, if we could find one of those Jada ones for cheap with the little Roadrunner figure, we got to rob the Roadrunner figure. That way when you put this on display. Mm -hmm. Just the last look, guys, at our uh, GMP 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner. This is the model, if you're wondering which one it is. Now... The thing is, I don't know if there's any way to tell the color. I'm not a big, huge um, GMP guy, but I think that's the model number, and I think that's how you can tell what color is in the box. It would just suck. It's hard to believe that you would buy an expensive one like this and not know what color you're getting. So I think that that's the model number, but don't quote me. But that's definitely the number made, 2250. Nice low number. I don't usually do this, but I'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek of uh, the next unboxing we're gonna do. It's one that I've never seen before. And I said, wow, I need a closer look at that. And I wanna show these guys. Shelby Collectible Legends series. She's sealed. Not gonna show you much of it, but we're gonna have a close look at this. Because we can't leave those bands on it. But if you guys know Shelby Collectibles, the 1 of 18 scale Eleanor di they did is the most detailed Eleanor best of the best. So we're going to unbox this and see if it's got the same details. But that will be next time. And to be more like a regular show <laughs> next time on Retro Collectibles with Neil and Glenn. There she is, folks. I got a bunch of footage. I'm just trying to figure out what orders to put it in and what orders to do what videos in. I know we're going to do a Christmas special one. I was thinking about leaving the Christmas tree to that one, but I thought, nah, that's going to be a separate one. We're going to show gifts getting opened up, stuff like that. So do that one later. I was going to show my rip out to the reserve and I got some footage of that, but then I thought, eh, maybe we'll show that footage another time too. We got cool stuff to unbox and that's what we did. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to do some organizing here, do some laundry here, get some more stuff put away and get ready for the new work week. Oh, one cool thing I got for my birthday. I got a cool, a few good things for my birthday, actually. Like, I got my retro bagel toaster from uh, Dave and Nadine. I got, uh, Glenn is getting me, you know how I need the other lights for my other cabinet? Glenn is getting me those other lights for my other cabinet, which is cool, because I was waiting till after Christmas to get them. So I told him, just get me them later, whatever. And yeah, I've got lots to say, but I can't remember at the moment what to tell you guys. So that'll be for a later video in a day or two. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, once again, uh, click the like notification or click the like button. That way I know that what I'm doing is working out and you guys are telling me to keep doing what I'm doing. 
hit subscribe and share hammer on the bell notification so that you know when my videos come out and as always happy hunting guys looks like i picked the wrong week to quit amphetamines